Everyday Jesus, a program specially made for you wonderful kids because we know you love to worship, to study, and learn the Word of God. Now can we do it again? Let's say to worship, to study, and learn the Word of God. Great job, kids. So to begin, we will start with a prayer. Can we have our prayer magnets? Yes! And let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day that you have given us. I pray that you will give us wisdom and understanding so that we will be able to apply all of the things that we will be learning today. We love you so much, Lord, and we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen! He's the best! So right now, let's all stand up and let's worship with Everyday Jesus! Hi kids! It's time to worship the Lord today! So why don't we all stand up? One, two, three! Yeah! Woo! Are you ready to worship Jesus? Yep! Oh yeah! Everyday Jesus!
I know you enjoyed our praise and worship time with Pastor Spam and Gary. And I also know you know what time is it, right? It's our Bible story time. So please get your Bibles, your notebooks, and of course, your favorite pens. And once you have them all with you, can you help us store remember our rule time for today? Rule number one, hands behave. Rule number two, eyes watchful. Rule number three, ears listening. And rule number four, mouth silent. Great job, kids. Now for our Bible story for today, we will be opening our Bibles to Exodus chapter 20, verses 8 to 11. Now kids, can you please get your Bibles and open it to Exodus chapter 20, verses 8 to 11? And let's read. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, you or your son or your daughter, your male servant or your female servant or your livestock or the sojourner who is within your gates. For six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Wow! Amazing Bible story, right kids? We have seen that God commanded us that we should always remember the Sabbath and to keep it holy. Now, the word holy in this passage means to set apart. This teaches us kids that we should always set apart a day for the Lord wherein we will be in His house, spending time in His presence, worshiping, and learning His word. Sabbath day is for the Lord. Now kids, can you follow Pastora in these very simple action words? Can we say, Sabbath day is for the Lord? Can we do it again? Can we say, Sabbath day is for the Lord? Now can we do it the last time? Can we say, Sabbath day is for the Lord? Great job kids! So right now, I know you know what time is it, right? It's our question and answer time. So please get your notebooks and of course your pens. And you can always write down the correct answers so that once we're back in children's church, we can give you extra tickets for every correct answers. So are you ready? Great! So now let's go to question number one. Who blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy? Who blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy? Got that, kids? Very good job. Now let's go to our question number two. The word holy means what? The word holy means what? Done, kids? Awesome! Now let's go to our question number three. True or false? Sabbath day is for the Lord. True or false? Sabbath day is for the Lord. Got that, kids? Very good job. Now let's go to our question number four, which is of course our application for today. Kids, always make sure that every week we honor the Sabbath by being in the house of God, worshiping, praying, and learning His words. So I think that's it for our Bible story for today, kids, and I hope you learn a lot. We'll see you again next time, kids! Hello kids! This is Pastor Mikey and we're here for our What's the Word? That's the Word segment! Did you enjoy our Bible story? Yes! Good job kids! But before we start our lesson for today, we're going to play a game! Our word for today is a seven-letter word. 
And you have to guess the three missing letters by guessing the objects I will show you. So are you ready, kids? Let's start. For the sixth letter, can you guess this object? Great job! It's a tumbler, and tumbler starts with the letter letter T. For the third and fourth letter, can you guess this object? Very good. These are books. And the word book starts with the letter letter B. And for the first letter, can you guess this animal? Great job! It's a ship. And ship starts with the letter letter S. So our word for today is Sabbath. The Sabbath is a holy day God made so we can rest from work and worship Him. And did you know that this holy and special day was also created when God created the whole world? Let's open our Bibles in Genesis chapter 2 verses 1 to 3. By the seventh day, God had finished the work He had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it, he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. Did you hear that, kids? When our Heavenly Father and Jesus finished creating the earth and everything on it, they blessed the seventh day as a holy day. Now, kids, does anyone remember what holy means? Very good. Holy means set apart for a special use. This means that the Sabbath day is a holy day and it is different from the other days of the week because it is a day for us to rest from our work and to worship our Heavenly Father and Jesus. So if Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are the days for you to study. That means Sunday is your Sabbath day. And on Sundays, you spend time with God by attending our online kids' church, worshiping Him and learning more about Jesus. So kids, remember that Sabbath day is a holy day set apart by God so we can rest from our work and spend time with Him. I hope you learned a lot today, kids. See you again next time!
I'm Pastor Jai, and welcome to our Bible Challenge segment for today. For today, we have learned from our Bible story that Sabbath is a day of rest, and that rest is given to us by God. Why so? So that we can spend time with Him and so that we can have rest in our physical bodies. Now today, kids, we have a challenge for you. That's right! Well, our challenge for you is to memorize this phrase. Are you ready? Yes! Alright! So for our challenge for you today, we are going to memorize this phrase. I will always observe the Sabbath day by resting and spending time with God. Wow! Isn't it easy? Now let's try to do it again. I will always observe the Sabbath day by resting and spending time with God. Wow! Isn't it easy? Now let's try to do it again without any copy. I will always observe the Sabbath day by resting and spending time with God. Wow! Isn't that easy? Yes! I know! Now today, our challenge for you kids is to post your videos online. That's right! You are going to make your own video doing that phrase. And don't forget to ask your mommy and daddy, your aunties and kuyas to make their posts public so that we can see them and add them in our WhatsApp segment. Also, don't forget to put the hashtag, hashtag EverydayJesus and hashtag Bible Challenge Accepted. Wow! So did you learn something from our Bible challenge? Of course! So always remember that you have to spend time with God! So that's it! We'll see you again! God bless! Hi kids! I'm at Casey. Today we are going to learn a new dance. Our song for today is entitled you sustain all things. May I invite you to stand up? One, two, three. Very good. We will be learning the chorus part and the bridge part. First, let's learn the bridge part. The steps goes with the lyrics. Wait on him. Renew my strength. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Wait on him. Renew. My strength. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Wait on him. Renew my strength. The next part. The steps goes with the lyrics. Run and not grow weary. Walk and not faint. Ready? And five, six, seven, eight. Run and not grow weary, walk, and not faint. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Run and not grow weary, walk, and not faint. And for the next part, the steps goes with the lyrics. Rise up in power, soar on eagle's wings. Ready? And five, six, rise up, rise up in power. Soar on eagle swings. One more time. Five, six, rise up, rise up in power. Soar on eagle swings. And let's learn the chorus part. The steps goes with the lyrics. You sustain all things, all by your powerful word. Ready? And five, six. You sustain all things. You sustain all things. You sustain all things, 
all by your power forward. One more time. Five, six, you sustain all things. You sustain all things. You sustain all things. All by your power forward. Now, let's do it with music. Are you ready to learn a new memory verse song today? Yes, our verse for today is Psalm 90 verse 12. Repeat after me. Say Psalm 90 verse 12. Very good. Now the song goes something like this. Did you enjoy that song? I did too. Well, that's it for a memory verse song today. This is Pastor Armira. See you again next time. Welcome back, kids. So I hope you enjoyed a lot and learned from our episode today. 
So right now, we will be praying. Do you still remember our three prayer requests? Yes! First, we will be praying for our government and church leaders alike, that God will give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. Second, we will be praying for your families, that God will always keep them safe, and that God will always bless the work of the hands of your parents. And third, we will be praying for you, wonderful kids. What do you want Jesus to do for you? As for us, you know our prayer request for you always is that you will continuously grow in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord. You will always be productive and you will always be a blessing to the people around you. So are you ready to pray? Let's have our prayer magnets and let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all of the things that we have learned today. Right now, we pray for our government and church leaders alike, that you will give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. Lord, I also pray for our families, that you will always keep them safe, that you will keep them away from any kinds of harm, especially, Lord, from any kinds of sicknesses. And Father, we pray that you will continuously bless the work of the hands of our parents. Lord, right now, we also pray for these wonderful kids, that you will continuously make them productive in everything that they do, that they will grow more in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord, and that they will always be a blessing to the people around them. Thank you so much, Lord, and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He's the best. So that's it for Everyday Jesus Today, kids. See you again next time.